it's time for another story. This is another from my Harry McClary collection and I love these books and I told you last time because the prose, the way it's written, the words, are often have great rhyming pairs so listen out for them and I'll try and get my mouth around all of these tricky names without giggling. This one's called Harry McClary and Zachary Quack. Can you see Zachary Quack? It's one of my favourite characters. Him and Slinky Malinky. It's a great name to say. Oh, there he is. Harry McClary. Oh, I think it's a nice day, don't you? He looks like he's relaxing. Can you see what's above him? Lots of buzzy bees coming to visit the flowers. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a space in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back when pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. who wanted to frolic and frutal and play, but Harry McClary skedaddled away. Oh, Harry maybe doesn't want to play. Over the lawn and the asparagus bed went Harry McClary to hide in the shed. He lurked in the shadows all dusty and black, but... Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. He's hunting Harry down. Out to the garden and into the trees jumped Harry McClary with springs in his knees. He hid in the grass at the side of the track. But who's coming? Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack. Cheeky little face hiding. <gasps> Down to the river through willow and reed raced Harry McClary at double the speed. Into the water he flew with a smack. But pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip round the corner came Zachary Quack, who dizzily dived in the craziest way, whirling and swirling in showers of spray. <laughs> Harry McClary was off in a flash, in a flurry of bubbles and doggy paddle splash. He swam to the side and floundered about. He tried and he couldn't, he tried and he tried, but he couldn't climb out. Scrabbling upwards and slithering back when... Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip through the water came Zachary Quack, who sped round a corner and showing the way, led Harry McClary up, up and away. Without Zachary Quack, Harry McClary wouldn't have been able to get out. What a good little duck. Oh, then, soggy and shivering. Back up the track went Harry McClary with Zachary Quack. Ah. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through the flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back. No, surely not. And tucked up together with Zachary Quack. <laughs> That's a great story. Oh, he always puts a big smile on my face, Harry McClary. I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon.